Japanese manufacturers have a long and fruitful history of producing scooters with ICE powertrains, but 2022 is the year when companies like Yamaha are going to turn over a new leaf and actively embrace electrification. Earlier this year, the company has announced their Switch On campaign that implies an introduction of six new battery-powered two-wheelers. Yamaha E01 is the most powerful in this upcoming lineup. Yamaha E01 Scooter is already undergoing the real-world proof-of-concept testing and should become available for purchase by the end of the year. Its full specifications are yet to be disclosed, but we already know that it's developed as an alternative to the 125cc scooter class. The E01 Scooter will be powered by an in-house developed powertrain consisting of an 8.1 kilowatt e-motor and a non-removable battery pack. The battery capacity and cell types have not yet been announced either, but the brand is going for the 60-mile riding range. According to the company's official press release, this scooter is going to be able to ride for 60 miles with an average speed of 38 miles per hour. While the engineers are putting the finishing touches to the Yamaha E01 model, the company's management found a way to bring more electrified options to the admirers of the Yamaha scooters even earlier. They've partnered up with Gogoro, an undisputed leader in e-scooter production in Taiwan, and co-developed a model called the Yamaha EMF. This two-wheeler will be powered by a 7.6 kilowatt electric motor that can let you reach the speed of 31 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. The estimated top speed capabilities with this type of motor should be close to 60 miles per hour. Since the EMF scooter is intended for the inner urban use, the engineers wanted to achieve great ride stability and handling by using a lightweight frame design, a good suspension system with shock absorbers and braking components with CBS. The partnership with Gogoro enabled Yamaha to use the Gogoro removable battery pack system, so now you can travel up to 68 miles between charges and use the Gogoro's quick battery swapping system to get back on the road in a matter of minutes. The sales of Yamaha EMF have already commenced in Taiwan, but the plans regarding the sales outside this area have not yet been disclosed. This new electric vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions. MGO Technology is a Ukrainian research and development center that's planning on bringing fairly priced electric vehicles to the international market. They are already known for their electric scrambler motorcycle, which was presented last year. However, for the upcoming model year, the company will be bringing a two-seater electric scooter. The model received a striking retro-inspired design and an 8-kilowatt electric motor. This gear motor unit will grant you the top speed capabilities of 55 miles per hour. It's also capable of capturing some of the energy on the go and charging the battery by means of the available recuperation system. The battery technology that is used in this scooter is said to serve at least 8,000 recharging cycles without any loss of capacity. It will also be able to hold charge well when operating in sub-zero weather conditions. One full battery charge will provide the riding thrills for up to 93 miles. When it comes to charging, the e-scooter model supports a variety of options, including home charging as well as CCS2 high-speed charging. The most powerful charging option can top the battery to the 90% mark in just 45 minutes. This year, Horwin is updating its e-scooter range with a brand new model called the SK3. This zero-emission, personal mobility vehicle features a mid-mounted e-motor unit capable of putting out 6.2 kilowatts of peak power. As a result, SK3 can provide a comfortable city commuting experience and can be ridden at the speed of 50 miles per hour. Out of the factory, the base modification of this scooter comes equipped with one 72-volt, 36-amp-hour battery module that can last for up to 50 miles of riding. If needed, the two-wheeler can be equipped with a dual battery system. By installing an extra battery pack, you'll be able to go up to 100 miles per charge, but will have less space for your helmet in the under-seat storage compartment. When depleted, each battery pack would require up to 5 hours of charging to restore full capacity. The scooter's attention-grabbing design is offered in three color schemes. Other noteworthy features include LED lighting, a smart battery management system, and CBS brakes.
As it's suggested by its name, the E-City scooter was designed as a practical solution for your city commuting needs. This new model was created by a Spanish manufacturer that's been developing motorcycles, scooters, and bicycles for the past 80 years. The E-City is fitted with a zero-emission powertrain that consists of a 3-kilowatt Bosch motor and a dual-battery system. Each battery weighs 26 pounds, boasts a 2100 watt-hour capacity, and can be charged either inside the scooter via a built-in charger or be extracted from the body for in-home charging. EBS brake charging system is an additional means of charging your battery since it turns the braking energy into electrical charge for battery packs. The Bosch electric motor is hidden inside the rear wheel hub and is capable of producing the peak power output of 4.75 kilowatts, while the torque parameter measures 12.5 pound-feet. The motor operates in three modes, eco, dynamic, and sport. Then choosing riding mode, as well as other performance parameters are displayed on the clear LCD display. When the sport mode is engaged, you can unlock the top riding speed of 44 miles per hour. Two fully charged battery modules will enable you to ride for up to 87 miles. The manufacturer is claiming that this range estimations can be achieved at the continuous speed of 25 miles per hour. The CPX is the most powerful model in the current Super Soco range. The ample amount of power, 4 kilowatts to be exact, may be the reason why people are expressing so much interest in the model. The most recent sales data says the CPX is the best-selling electric two-wheeler in the UK and one of the leaders in the L3E category in Europe. Designed as a zero-emission alternative to regular 125cc scooters, the CPX has the top speed of 56 miles per hour and a dual battery pack good for up to 86 miles of riding. Please note that these are manufacturer's estimation and can only be achieved if you cruise at speeds below 28 miles per hour. Higher riding speeds tend to drain the battery faster. The installed battery packs are 60 volt, 45 amp hour units that need three and a half hours to be fully replenished with the help of a fast charger. Fast charging is not the only smart feature this scooter can boast. It also comes with regenerative braking, USB charge ports, a push reverse button, and LED headlights. The highest standard of emission-less mobility from Germany is set by Kumpan's lineup of scooters that follow the new look and feel technology and design concept. The range is represented by 54 Inspire, 54 Ignite, 54 Impulse, and the upcoming 54 Iconic scooters. These get not one, not two, but three removable batteries with the powerful LG cells labeled Power Pack 2.0. The 4 kilowatt motor gets enough juice to travel 84 miles on average, and the charging process takes just 4 hours from a standard home plug. Hydraulic fork and shock absorber ensure adequate cushioning, and hydraulic brakes front and rear provide excellent stopping power that you might need at the speeds up to 28 miles per hour. You can look into the heart of the Kumpan through its 7-inch touch display, but the telemetry module allows tracking the scoot status through your smartphone. Weepad is one of the most attention-grabbing manufacturers in the world of electric scooters. This South Korean company has become popular thanks to the unconventional design language of their scooters, as well as unprecedented amounts of power their products offer. Unlike the majority of the Weepad lineup, the new Dark Knight scooter is equipped with a small seat. Consequently, this model could be regarded as a hybrid between a stand-up and a seat-down scooter. The model is riding on a set of rugged 16-inch tires that are also good for off-road riding. The off-road capabilities of this product are also backed up by dual spring shock absorbers both in the front and in the rear. The overall weight of the model is 154 pounds, but this weight doesn't stop from hitting the 62 mile per hour top speed. The powerful motor was matched to a high capacity battery pack. It's a 72 volt, 60 amp hour module that can keep the good riding times going for up to 90 miles. 
It should also be mentioned that the manufacturer also offers a 30 amp hour battery upgrade, so you can travel even further between charges. With 2.2 kilowatts of instant power, a battery system that can hold up to two Panasonic packs at once, an award-winning design with five available color variations, a reliable BMS system, and the next-generation smart app with GPS controls, the C1S scooter looks like a well-rounded option for city commuting. The model's underseat area has a 6.6-gallon storage capacity for your belongings, while the 5-inch LCD screen will always display the most important data one needs to know while operating the scooter. The base C1S model is equipped with disc brakes and is good for riding at speeds below 37 miles per hour for the distance of 43 miles. If you need more power, there's the C1S Pro modification available. It has a significant power increase to 6 kilowatts, the top speed of 50 miles per hour, the ability to climb hills with a 30% slope, and a faster charging option. California's Onyx RCR is quite an ambiguous product. It keeps bike pedals and a train to qualify as a moped, but at the same time has 60 miles an hour top speed that would place it in the category of a lightweight motorcycle. Built around a steel frame, the bike has an in-house developed forged aluminum front suspension and 350 millimeters adjustable shocks in the rear. This EV is sold with 23 and 41 ampere hour battery packs, enabling the max range up to 75 miles. The rear hub motor peaks at 8 horsepower and accelerates the bike to 31 miles per hour in 4 seconds. Additionally, you can equip the RCR with the DRT off road kit that includes front and rear fenders, a headlight grille, a rear rack, and fork dust covers. Each Onyx model is hand built to order and has estimated delivery time of 2 to 4 weeks to 48 lower states. The California-based CSC Motorcycles is an importer and distributor of electric bikes and scooters, as well as ICE motorcycles. The company's most recent introduction is labeled Monterey, after a famous bay in California. Offered in three coast-ready paint schemes, the two-wheeler rides on 17-inch wheels, offers ample underseat storage, and comes fitted with a full suspension system with an inverted hydraulic fork up front and dual shocks at the rear. A single 3 horsepower motor battery can propel the scoot to 30 miles per hour, while depending on your riding style, the range will vary from 20 to 60 miles. Finally, the model can carry two riders, though their combined weight should not exceed 330 pounds. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.